everybody. Hi. Hopefully, hopefully I am now connected. Hard to say. Hard to say. Um, let's see what's happening. Hi. Okay, I feel like I have to now tweet that <laughs> I'm live again. Oh, dear. Oh dear, hi everybody! <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to tweet that I am back. I don't know what just happened. My internet just decided to die, which is interesting because I just got a new modem, which was supposed There's still to fix a long my internet ahead. struggles, but it didn't. But it didn't. Um, right, let me just tweet go. out this new link on to um, Twitter. Because it's a new link, right, guys? Because it's a new link. It's a new link. It's a new link. Okay. Let's copy this link. Oh, I could hear myself singing. All right. All right. Oh no, I just just retweeted it, but I meant to quote retweet it. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, Inazuma story. Inazuma story. All right, let's do that little linky poo tweet. All right. Hi, everybody. We're struggling. <laughs> okay, can someone just explain what I'm doing wrong? I... It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. Like, what? I never quite seem to get my land legs back. What? What is, what is happening? Is there a fourth one? Like, what am I doing wrong? You guys, I really don't know what happened. I, I, <laughs> my internet just was like, no, I'm done. Thank you though. I'm trying. Well, isn't this what I'm supposed to do? Aren't I supposed to make all of these go electro? It's more, it's sort of like a puzzle. It's asking you, but I had an archer out. You guys saw that I had an archer out. And it didn't work. I had an electro bow user out. <laughs> Is Kujo Sir not an electro bow user? Look. Why is this not working? <laughs> Oh, it is working. Oh, it's working! Ah! Okay, faster, faster. Okay. Ooh! Ooh! What? How is this happening? What? What? to line them up in a certain order. What order? <laughs> Guys, if it if this is depending on me shooting quickly, I'm never going to do it. Okay, don't attack him. He's 
literally the only one that gives you trouble right now. You know what I mean? Why are there more spawning up? This is unbelievable! Okay, okay. <laughs> The show thinks nothing is happening. Nothing good is happening. This is horrible! This is a, this is a nightmare! No! No! Okay, okay. And I just upped his talents too. Ugh, he and you are way under leveled for their talents. It's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going! Keep going. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah! Retribution! Retribution! <laughs> that was that was intense. Phew. Glad that's over. As monsters go, that one was pretty tough. Um, but what's such a huge Thunderhome Lodge Earl doing here in the first place? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Also, the atmosphere here. Because I'm on the creeps. Same anyway, problem. the good thing is that it's over now. We should probably get going. Tepe! Uh, Tepe? What are you doing here? Tepe! <coughs> wow. Why are you this coughing? Is a surprise. Are you sick? I didn't know you were the ones investigating here. I just got back from delivering some supplies to the front line. I figured I'd stop by and clear any threats in this area on the way back. <coughs> Tepe, are, are you, you all right there, buddy? You're looking slightly the worst for wear. I'm fine. It's nothing. I must have caught a cold a couple of days ago while I was out at sea. On my way past, I heard that someone had just arrived on the island to investigate, so I thought I'd come and take a look. If there'd been some real danger, I might have had the chance to be the hero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shame it was just you guys. I guess I came here for nothing. Well, not for nothing. Don't you think there's something strange about this place? Hmm. Now that you mention it, <laughs> there is something a little off about it. It could be that the Tatarigami is more palpable here, I guess. We're not that far away from Orobashi's remains. Orobashi? Who's that? A god. Who is... Look, there's the corpse over there. Is that a dragon? How many giant monsters are there? Just Orobashi like... was the one who brought our ancestors from Dead. the Okonomiya up to the surface. That's the origin of the Watatsumi <laughs> Island you know today. Isn't there one in Dragon's Mind? Our ancestors the regarded dragon? it as a guardian <laughs> deity. But during the Archon War, Orobashi invaded Yashiori Island. The Raiden Shogun came out in person and slew Orobashi with the Muso no Hitotachi. That same slash also formed what later became known as Musojin Gorge. The Raiden Shogun created Musojin Gorge in one slash? Wow, that's pretty incredible. Yes, but the Archon War was brutal. <laughs> and Yashiori Island was completely destroyed during that battle. They say the Shogun lost something very dear to her along the way, too. Since Orobashi's death, there has always been... <laughs> some animosity between Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate, but our different beliefs have nothing to do with why the Resistance was formed. We only rose up to fight against the Vision Hunt Decree. When Orobashi attacked civilization, the Shogun stood up and put a stop to it. But now that the Shogun is stripping people of their ambitions with the Vision Hunt Decree, it's time for someone to stand up and stop the Shogun. <coughs> Alright. I'm heading back. I was just dealing with some of the Shogun's elite samurai, so I think I'm going to take a quick breather, and it's on to my next assignment. You should report back to Sangonomiya as soon as possible. Don't stay here longer than you need to. Being around the Tatarigami too long won't do your health any good. <coughs> take care of yourself. Hey, don't worry about me. Peak condition. Are you, though? Because you're coughing and you're making me nervous. Tepe sure made some big progress if he's already dealing with Shogunate Samurai. Paimon can hardly believe it. Let's report back to Kokomi. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Alright, let's change this party 
back. Because these are level one! Oh my gosh! This so world funny. is full of unsolved mysteries. I never get to hear her thing. I'll scout ahead. This world is full of unsolved mysteries. Okay, let's go talk to Kokomi. Teleport waypoint! <laughs> Goro! Kokomi! Kokomi, we're back! Oh, look! Goro's here too! Uh, what happened? They look so serious. Approximately how many people are exhibiting these symptoms? I haven't had the chance to do a full count yet. Kokomi, Goro, uh, what's going on? Recently, some of our soldiers started showing symptoms of accelerated aging. I called them in for questioning and found out they'd privately acquired some secret weapons from our sponsor. Most of them are highly ambitious types, vehemently opposed to the Vision Hunt decree. Oh no! They've been using these new weapons secretly since getting a hold of them. So that's why the war has been going unusually well. But risky secret weapons are not the answer. We must put a stop to it immediately. Goro, have you managed to acquire one of these weapons? Well, most of the officers refuse to hand them over. Still, I did manage to get one. Oh dear. Do you know something about this? It's a Fatui delusion. So that means our secret sponsor is the Fatui? But why would the Fatui do this? Uh, forget that. There's no time. Right now, we need to inform the whole army to cease using their delusions immediately. All soldiers who have shown symptoms are to be taken for treatment. I just hope we'll be in time to save them. I hope we will too! Wait a second. Speaking of soldiers with symptoms... <sighs> Tape. No! Surely he can't have... Uh, let's go check on him. Oh no, Tepe! Hey guys, what are you doing here? What? Just a moment, let me, let me get up. It's weird. I don't know where all my strength's gone. Tepe, you have to tell me. Hmm? Oh, right, yeah. I haven't had time to give you the full details. Well, I made a lot of great contributions to no, the war Tepe. effort lately. Uh, fighting... <coughs> Shogun's army at sea, taking on Shogunate samurai all by myself, rescuing my comrades from from an ambush. Things I never would have dreamed I could do when you first met me. If only I were stronger still. The stronger I am, the more I can do for the resistance. Wait a sec. Where's my secret weapon gone? When did you start using it? Um... <coughs> it wasn't long after you were made captain of Swordfish 2. I met these... mysterious people. Said they were with our supporters. They gave it to me, and said that as long as I have the will to become stronger, a secret weapon will answer my call. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a vision, isn't it? Of course, I, I've i never used a vision, so I wouldn't know the difference. This is a delusion. Delusion? <coughs> oh, God. 
doesn't sound very good. So, what's the difference between a, a delusion and a vision? A delusion drains the user's life force. <laughs> Gosh. Well, I suppose it's not too surprising that a mysterious weapon of unknown origins would come with its risks. I've been getting more and more tired over the past few days, and I have this strange sense of dread. At first, I'd find I was a little more beat than usual after a battle. Didn't think anything of it. But today, I... I got back and suddenly my vision was going blurry. This is a real shame. There I was, thinking I was catching up with you. <laughs> Guess I didn't receive the favor of the gods after all. Hey, would, would you do something for me? When our uniforms are ready, grab mine for me. Bring it back here. <coughs> and we can change together. What's that look for? Don't worry, partner. As soon as I've rested up, I'll be bright as rain. Bright as rain, I tell you. As soon as I've... rested up. Pepe! The Fatui. Hey! Where are you going? Hey! No, Tepe! Uh, Tepe's breathing is getting weaker and weaker. No! No, I don't like this! <laughs> I really don't like this. Coco, me, come save him! <laughs> How's Tepe's condition? How could none of us have noticed? I have put out the order to cease all delusions. The vast majority are showing some loss of vitality, but nothing serious. Sadly, a few have been less fortunate. Your Excellency, I'm planning to establish a dedicated field hospital to monitor their condition. The soldiers are up in arms about the band, though. They know full well what a delusion is, but they still intend to keep using them. Okay. I'll leave you to deal with the situation. I have to get to the front line. This whole fiasco is certain to be a blow to morale. If the Shogun's army attacks now while we're scrambling to recover, it could well undo everything we have achieved so far. What are your thoughts? I'll go confront the Fatui directly. No, it's too dangerous. The Sakoku Decree is still in force, so their delusions must be produced within Inazuma's borders. To organize an operation of this scale, they will have had to mobilize a huge amount of manpower and resources. They can't have done it without local support. If we want to stop them, we have to destroy the factory where the delusions are made. But it's sure to be heavily guarded. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. At least take some troops with you. There's no time for that. Your Excellency, given the urgency of the situation, we were hardly discreet when confiscating the delusions. The Fatui are sure to take notice. If we spend any longer amassing our forces, they will get wind of our plans and make their escape. Very true. Mm, let me think. I gave this some thought while you were confiscating the delusions. The side of the factory must be big and secluded but close enough to a transport route to ensure the supply of raw materials. Not many places like meet these criteria. And if we take the location Tepe, where our soldiers receive their delusions into account as well, Ugh, I suspect Tepe. the site is likely to be the cliffs near the ocean at the southwest of Yashiori Island. I'm not going to stop you. But please, be careful. We have lost too many courageous fighters already. I don't want to lose you too. Let's go. Huh? You mean to the delusion factory? Mm hmm. Really? You aren't gonna think it over first? Ugh. Fine. Yeah, 
we have to go because there's no other option. Oh, Remy can tell I'm upset. And he came over to comfort me. Hi, this is, this is not how it's supposed to be. Hi. Why would Tepe use that? Oh, he didn't know, he didn't know, but still. How are you gonna save Tepe? Remy. Remy, I'm sad about Tepe. You can't be trying to fall off furniture. Okay. Maybe we'll find, maybe we'll find the solution. Maybe we'll find the solution in here. I never introduced myself when I restarted. Hi, this is the unofficial part two. <laughs> um, because my internet died. My name is Sarah Miller Cruz. I'm the English voice of Louie to get you to impact. And I also voice Angela and Charles and Mana and Caitlin and Roxanne and Pokemon Masters and Layla in Mobile Legends. Okay. What? Are you kidding? It's booby trapped. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> Come at me. Whoa, that was really fast. What's that? Who are you? Should have get careless. Oh, hey. Huh. You can't run. Shut up. This was well done. 
Okay, that didn't do anything, and I've seen that. Yeah, come on! Yeah! Rack and ruin! Rack and ruin! Oh, this is who I should use. I always forget how good she is about. But unfortunate fault. Yeah, yeah, Barbara! Cook this through. Bye. Lieutenant Nathan. Okay, 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 okay. Intruder spotted! What? Do not let them impede the work of the oh, Harmonger! No, oh no! Oh They'll no, not all line. of these guys together! Okay, okay, okay. No, I 
gotta focus on this guy. He's like the most You can't all attack me at once. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to attack this one. Hello? What is happening? Are you joking? Hello? Come on. We can do it. Let the show begin. Oh, this guy's ice. No. Ah. Blood of frost. I mean, this guy's not ice. He's water. I thought it was ice. Oh, darn it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Barbara. Come through for us, Barbara. Come through for us. Okay, wait. That's not nice. Protect us. Okay. How come we're not doing anything to his shield? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. What? Don't be intimidated. Lord Harbinger will be here soon. actually managed to find this place. Congratulations. No. So, you're another Fatui Harbinger? Like Senora and Child? Senora and Child. <laughs> I didn't know you and my two least reliable colleagues were acquainted. I'm what? the Balladeer. Number six of the Fatui Harbingers. What? Delighted to that meet you. That was you? Oh, mighty traveler. So many visitors today. To what do I owe the honor? You're manufacturing delusions. Oh, so that's what this is about. I think you've got the <laughs> wrong idea. I know how this looks, but I'm just here to follow orders. You liar! I'm obviously not the mastermind behind this. I don't care you if you're not the mastermind! Why are you tough? doing this? What are you waiting for? Go get them. Is this our first time meeting, Scaramouche? You're getting all worked up over nothing. <sighs> Didn't have you down as being so weak. <gasps> How can you say this is nothing? How can you call it anything more? It's the way of the world. Human life is worthless. They were always going to die. What? With or without a delusion. At least having one gives them a chance to fulfill their ambitions. Do you have any idea how useful the vision hunt decree is to us? I'm gonna fight you. It took a lot of work to make it happen. I'm gonna fight you. Obviously, it because wasn't our best interest. Because you're killing Tepe! Good news is, our hard work is finally paying off. Generating conflict creates a big market for delusions. Now we just let the promise of power draw in the weak. No. For just a small price, they get the feeling of controlling the world. Trading their life for supreme power. Pretty good deal. You know what's Don't a pretty good deal? Me punching so, you in the face, like the this. Who started the vision hunt decree? You've been behind it all along. <gasps> From the outside, Inazuma looks pretty impenetrable, but on the inside, it's a land of you opportunity. You started the vision hunt decree? Efforts, we were able to break them down from within. <gasps> Eternity stretches things out over a long time, but each moment within it becomes all the more fragile. Take your friend in the resistance, for example. There's nothing you can do now. He's a lost cause. No! Just like a bubble on the water. No! Beautiful for a moment, then total destruction. The more it takes from them, the more no. tightly they hold on to it. And the more incompetent they are, the more determined they are to fight it. <laughs> it's such a farce. 
You have to see the funny side. Don't you dare mock Tepe. Hey, calm down! Oh, uh, no! <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> That's it. Just like that. Embrace the anger. Embrace it! The wrath of the gods fills this factory, and it feeds on your anger. <laughs> What's happening? Get up! What just happened? Repeat after me. Three, two, one. One, two, three. <sighs> Come on. Yai Nico? Oh, you recognize me right away. Your brain seems relatively unscathed. This is good news. It's just as well, really, with the amount of effort it took me to get you back here. Honestly, it was like you were glued to the ground back there. because I had the other Shrine Maidens leave. Anyway, I've always been like this. Have you? Have you though? People show you whatever side of themselves they want you to see. I know this for a fact. Every side of me is the real me. People just like to define things in all sorts of arbitrary ways. This is a human society. <sighs> At the moment, anyway. And I'm just doing as I please. At the moment, anyway. What does that mean? <laughs> Study humans a while longer, my little friend. You'll see what I mean. How did you do it? Right! Paimon was so focused on the Traveler that Paimon didn't notice what you did to get Scaramouche off our backs! What if I told you it was a secret art from the Grand Narukami Shrine, and that I had the Balladeer down on his knees, begging for mercy in an instant? Would you believe me? <laughs> well, maybe you should be worrying less about that, and more about how exactly you're going to thank me, no? Hmm, maybe some of your neural circuitry is less intact than I thought. Thank you ever so much, Yesama. I didn't mean you had to be so formal about it. I need your actions, not your words. <laughs> hmm, the delusions. They're still on your mind, aren't they? Yes. You needn't worry. The leader of Watatsumi Island took some troops to clear the place out. She's also issued a strict ban on the use of delusions across the whole army. With their stronghold exposed, I doubt the Balladeer is stubborn enough to try and retaliate now on his colleague's behalf. It would be more trouble than it's worth. Ah. <sighs> I must say, I would relish the opportunity to watch the Fatui getting a taste of their own medicine. Well, anyway, that's Ngonomiya Kokomi. She really outdid herself this time. I'd love to have another chat with her again in person. But alas, belief systems can be such a hindrance sometimes. A hindrance? Should you really be saying that as the Guji of the Grand Shrine? Anyway, I'm only telling you this to stop you worrying so that you can focus on something I need you to do for me. What do you need? You've met her, right? You mean the Raiden Shogun? I'm not talking about the puppet. I mean her. You've met her, yes? You mean inside? Yes, the true Raiden Shogun who meditates endlessly in the plane of Euthymia to preserve her being. Her name is A. Are you saying that the one we met at the ceremony was just a puppet? And the real Raiden Shogun is the one that the Traveler met later? And 
Does that mean that when the battlefield changed, so did the opponent? There were some subtle differences. <sighs> because this is the ride in Shogun's Eternity. Before pursuing the eternity of her nation, she had to reach eternity for herself. Since the physical body will eventually turn to dust, she replaced hers with that of a puppet. And since the spirit is susceptible to erosion, she placed her consciousness inside her sword, where she remains in a meditative state, free from all disturbances. So, that place that she carved open with her sword... The plane of Euthymia. Essentially, the world inside her mind. A place that typically only allows her existence. She shuts herself off in her inner world, leaving all the affairs of the outside world to be dealt with by a puppet, who has a singular focus on the pursuit of eternity. Huh. This is the approach A has come up with for realizing eternity. Zhang Li also mentioned erosion. You mean Morax? Hmm, it's been a while since I last saw him. A surprising decision by Liu as Archon. What a fascinating god he is. It seems like the Raiden Shogun's approach solves the problem Zhang Li was facing, though. <laughs> Perhaps. Or you could take the view that she's acting like a little child, throwing a temper tantrum and locking herself in her room. Don't you think? Mm, maybe. The grand notion of eternity she once held has long since given way to the eternity of her own definition. And ultimately, her eternity is defined by fear. The fear of loss. I'm still not sure what you want me to do. The truth is, we are on the same side. You want to save the people of Inazuma from the Vision Hunt Decree. So do I. The only difference is that I'd rather like to save this nation and save A while we're at it. The key is that the Plane of Euthymia represents A's inner world. Defeat her there, and you may well have the chance to shake the Raiden Shogun's will. So this is your plan? To abolish the Vision Hunt Decree? Not by talking her out of it, or through an armed resistance, but by... Uh... Hopping inside the Raiden Shogun's inner world? You're a fast learner. In short, this is the last chance to get Inazuma back on track. Otherwise, an eternity of darkness awaits. I still have one question. Don't you realize how special you are? Remember, the plane of Euthymia is a space where only she is allowed to exist. The fact that you could appear there tells us one crucial thing. That you have piqued her interest. Perhaps it's because she has never seen an individual who is so unpredictable in the face of eternity. Has no one else ever been in there? None. No one has seen the devotee of eternity since she shut herself away. In fact, no one even knows what it looks like in there. Your existence is more than just an opportunity. It's the very key to all of this. To that I say, well done, child. You did not disappoint me after all. Wait, you're leaving? Where are you going? anti riding Shogun training. I've prepared a special program just for you. Okay. No, wait, I want to go... Okay, first we gotta go be Animo again, I think. Okay, let's go turn back to Animo. Turn back to Animo. Okay. Oh, that's a good point. Hmm. 
Okay, should we take a break and finish the event ending? Or I'm gonna make a little poll. I'm gonna make a little poll. Okay. We are going to make a poll and the poll is going to be what next? Finish event. Keep going to training. Um, okay. Everybody vote, please. Ooh, I guess while you guys are deciding, I'm gonna go do this. Add Astra at keep voting we have to get to 300 votes and in the meantime i'm gonna go get some mushrooms in leah harbor read that oh no okay okay bye 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 okay hello I would like to buy some mushrooms no where are the mushrooms I just bought some the other day oh cuz it's sold out okay <laughs> What does everyone say? We have to get 30 more votes and then we will know what we want to do. 30 more votes. 30 more votes. Although right now it's looking like people want to finish the event really fast. One day, I'll be as the event is the Enkonomia um, Three Realms Gateway, which it looks like everyone wants to do just finish the event really fast and then we'll keep going with the training. So that is what we will do. Oh, wait, eight more votes and then we get to 300. Eight more votes, eight more votes, eight more votes. I was just talking about regular mushrooms. It's okay though. Five more, one more vote, one more vote, one more vote. And then we're at 300. I also don't use bow characters. <gasps> Yay, okay, we got to 300. We actually got to 306. Okay, let's just go to this really fast. And then we'll keep going. Although, for those of you who were here last time, I think I pretty much did a great job of ending it. Hey, Kokomi! Uh, you're back. The soldiers briefed me about what happened. You successfully worked with a shrine maiden named Tsumi to clear the darkness. But then there was an unexpected change at the Daini Jimikoshi. Is that so? Yeah, that's right. But after that is where things started to get all kinds of weird. Really? Uh, sorry, Kokomi. Paima feels kind of bad that we ended up giving your pendant away. There's no need to apologize. As I said, Watatsumi Island has no further need for it. 
It's a relic from back in the very beginning when the Watatsumi Omikami reorganized the court and reformed Enkanomiya. The three pendants were given to the Dainichi Mikoshi, the Sangonomiya line, and the vassals of Watatsumi. The original intention was that the common folk, the officials, and the divine vassals would all hold each other accountable. But today, only the common folk have flourished while the other two bloodlines have declined. So the pendant is of little use anymore. Funny you should say vassals. One of the soldiers seemed to think that Sumi was one of those. But actually, her vertical pupils meant that she was a reptile. She fooled us all. That's not true. Vassals of Watatsumi typically take on a half-human, half-snake form, symbolizing that they are the familiars of our serpent god. At least, they used to. Over time, the vassals gradually became identical to humans, all except for the pupils of their eyes. But Vishap people and reptilians, they're pure fiction. There is no evidence for their existence anywhere among Sangonomiya's classified documents. Uh, oh, so Tsumi isn't actually a bishop? The Watatsumi Omikami exhausted its power to create Watatsumi Island. And after that, it grew weaker and weaker. No more vassals of Watatsumi were born after that. But the records do mention the very last of the vassals. Okay. All our hopes were placed onto her. She was going to be the one who could communicate between the bishops and the humans. But when she was just an infant girl, she and her guardian shrine maiden were attacked by bishops at the border of Enkanomiya. Her whereabouts have been unknown ever since. So she is Most a believe she died that day. Vassal. But some believe she was raised by the bishops. The people of Watatsumi owe a great debt of gratitude to the vassals of Watatsumi. Now that the bishops and Watatsumi Islanders no longer have a territorial dispute, I sincerely hope that she will find her way to where she belongs. Wherever that is for her. Aww, Sumi. Still, now that we know how Blood Branch Coral works, I, as Divine Priestess of Sangonomiya, may need to think of a new way to counteract the Holy Soil phenomenon. For the time being, however, the issue is resolved. And all thanks to you, Watatsumi Island will be at peace for many decades to come. I can't thank you enough. That was basically what I said. To be continued... Wait, it's done? Wait, that's it? Oh, oh, I could go fight that. Okay. Claim. Claim. Ooh, look how much I can claim. Oh, look how much I'm claiming! Yay! We did it! Huzzah! Woo! Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Now we shall continue! Okay. No, I finished the Leo Lantern Rite event. Didn't I? Isn't that an event? Oop. Okay, here we go. I'm still hoping that we can save Tepe. I refuse to believe that they didn't give us any way to save Tepe. We're gonna do it here? Uh, and what's this mechanism for? 
think of it as a catalyst that can reproduce the Raiden Shogun's combat moves. I made it from my own memory, which means it should be perfectly accurate. <laughs> Unless, of course, her skills have declined. It'll give you a chance to figure out her moves in advance and come up with a counter strategy. That should be a big help, don't you think? Okay. The aim is to try to not get hit by the attacks. Since you've escaped certain death at her hand once already, I presume there shouldn't be more than you can it. handle. I barely made it! Okay, 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 okay. I barely, barely made it. Whoa! I'm not supposed to attack it? No! No! Oh, I didn't get hit by that one. Attack those things. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh darn it. I'm gonna go heal and come back. I'm so confused. How am I even supposed to take care of that last thing? How am I supposed to fight that last thing? have to like go I just have to like go really hard okay 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 I see I see I see is the stream okay <laughs> are we good okay don't break all three okay 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 y'all I don't want
challenge is just like okay the final challenge is just like I can't get hit even less times oh it's optional <laughs> I don't want to do that again <laughs> what a workout <laughs> it was a little challenging so how come you know so much about the riding shogun hmm? you mean me Perhaps it's Obviously because we mean you, we're asking you. Archon's familiar. What? Like so the Valenace to Barbados? Huh. So sorry, what did Never you just say? By looking at you. <laughs> it sounds like you'd be more persuaded if you saw me in my fox form. <laughs> I'd like to see that. In your dreams. Oh. I thought you were uh... offering! More curious than my appearance is the fact what? that she and I don't see each other anymore, wouldn't you say? Mm. A nation to last for all Maybe. eternity is a dream that she and I Why both would you share. offer that? Why would you offer that if you mm. didn't want to? But I don't think that's the same thing as complete stasis. I At some point, she started going ask. down a path that became increasingly difficult for me to join her on. You know... A never said goodbye to me before she stepped into the plane of Euthymia. Perhaps it's just my wishful thinking, but I think she did this deliberately, as her way of keeping our friendship eternal. By neither saying goodbye nor seeing me again, our relationship will remain forever how it was. In her mind, at least. She has taken a very one-sided view. Since we've embarked on two very different paths to eternity, I can either continue to maintain the status quo or do whatever it takes to bring her back on track, regardless of the cost. I have chosen the latter because... If stubbornly isolating herself in the plane of Euthymia is her idea of eternity, then my duty as her eternal familiar is to drag her back out of her own head and into the real world. Aw, Miko. You sound like a really great friend. <laughs> I'm only telling you this so you can properly understand my plan. Could you possibly spare the sentimentality for the time being? Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. Time for anti raiden Shogun training phase two. There's a part two? Oh no. Are you kidding? How is this fair? What? Time for retribution. Run!
You did quite admirably. I could see your determination and your hard work. So, do you think we're ready to beat the Raiden Shogun now? How I do don't. I put this? You're no match for her at all. Oh, wait, what? So all of this was a complete waste of time? <laughs> you are the most important part of the plan. I know what I'm doing. You don't think I'd leave you with no chance to win at all, do you? Speaking of... Traveler, what do you think of the Resistance Army's chances? To be honest... <laughs> You're absolutely right. Perhaps they occasionally best the Shogun's army in open battle, but when they face the Raiden Shogun herself, considering even their visions have been taken from them and embedded in the statue, they're ultimately quite helpless. You don't have to be so blunt. The Traveler's the captain of Swordfish too, you know. <laughs> I don't mean to belittle them. On the contrary. It is precisely because of their helplessness, because their visions have been taken from them, that their will is all the more precious. In short, if everything goes according to plan, they may yet prove to be helpful. So, what is the plan? Oh, goodness, is that the time? I have another guest to receive today. What? You're we just leaving with me out telling me the plan? Shrine. All of a sudden, you're entertaining guests? <sighs> Hyman's really struggling to understand how you work. Okay, bye. Um, is there um an echo, you guys? Because if there is, I will put my headphones on. Uh-oh. Okay, we can talk here. You asked me about the plan. In fact, I've been mulling it over for quite a long time. Before one makes a plan, what is the most important thing one must do? Huh, don't know. Uh, what is it? You must understand the situation you are facing. I feel like the I get it. The Vision Hunt Decree was obviously devised as a means of manipulating the Shogun. The ones behind it knowing full well her susceptibility as a puppet with a single-minded focus on eternity. The Balladeer confirmed this. Yes. This is the strongest piece of evidence we have to go on. Now, we also know that every aspect of the Vision Hunt Decree's promulgation and execution has been enthusiastically spearheaded by the Tenryo Commission from the outset. Ayaka was saying that every time they submitted a petition against the Vision Hunt Decree, the Tenryo and Kanjo Commissions would veto it straight away with no negotiation. The Tenryo Commission is working for the Fatui. Yes, it's all too clear that both the Tenryo and Kanjo Commissions are in some form of collusion with the Fatui. <sighs> Foolish humans, blinded by their greed. Thus, the current situation is that our Fatui antagonist is still at large, has the two rogue commissions wrapped around their finger, and is distributing delusions from the shadows. Okay. I'll put my headphones in, and then that way, there won't be any echo. Here we go. Unfortunately, given that said antagonist is under the protection of two commissions and the Raiden Shogun, we would be rather hard-pressed to track them down. So, what should we do? It will be easier for us to start with someone from Inazuma. Okay, let me know if the Echo is still there now. So my plan is to incite rebellion in the Tenryo Commission. Rebellion? What? What are you talking about? After everything you just said, it sounds like the Tenryo Commission has rebelled already. <laughs> when I say rebellion, I don't mean betraying the Shogunate. I mean, inciting a certain someone to betray the Tenryo Commission. Huh? If we manage to convince her, I'm quite sure we'll be able to get you another audience with the Raiden Shogun. Who is this certain someone? I'll give you a clue. She's currently in charge of the Shogun's army, 
She visits the shrine at this time every Kujo month. Kujo Sara? She is our guest today. She also appears to be standing right behind you. Don't move a muscle. You've got some nerve showing up here in the shrine when there's an active warrant for your arrest. Don't even think about trying anything. Surrender now. You're coming with me to headquarters. Seize her! Affirmative. Did you just get us arrested? It seems that you're forgetting. This is the Grand Narukami Shrine. Use of force here is strictly forbidden. Before you proceed, which of you would like to face criminal charges for dishonoring the Shogun, hmm? Ugh. Gujiai, please tell me you are not sheltering a wanted criminal here. We are just friends. I don't see what sheltering has to do with it. Tell your subordinates to leave. We have things to discuss. All of you outside. As you wish. Wait, so does Yai Miko have a vision? Guji Yai. I'm a little curious. Does it not also dishonor the Shogun to hide a wanted criminal at her grand shrine? <laughs> You're the same as ever, Kujosara. No one can match you when it comes to loyalty to the Shogun. As a servant, loyalty to the Shogun is my duty. And as a warrior, I dedicate my life to following the way of the Shogun. Even though she will one day... ...seize your vision, too? The oh. Vision Hunt Decree is the Shogun's chosen course. And I shall not question it. Oh. Oh, it's tragic. Such wholehearted devotion, rendered meaningless by circumstance. Have you been kept in the dark? Or are you the only one left in the light? Lady Guji, I need you to be direct. Tell me exactly what you mean. Yeah, tell us what you mean. The Vision Hunt Decree is a trap. Part of a Fatui plot to bring Inazuma to its knees. Yeah, Miko is going straight for the kill! the Kujo clan of the Tenryo Commission. They're the ones keeping the truth from reaching the Shogun. You're saying the Kujo clan... ...betrayed the Shogunate? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Guji Yai, your allegation is not only dangerous, but ridiculous. The Tri Commission has served the Shogun since ancient times, and remains absolutely loyal to this day. Ever since I was adopted by the Kujo clan, uh, I have seen awkward. and heard nothing but awkward. pure devotion toward the Shogun. At every level of the Tenryo Commission, especially from the head of the clan, Kujo Takayuki. He reveres the Muso no Hitotachi more than anyone. My own respect for the Shogun pales in comparison to his. How could he ever even dream of acting against the Shogun? Three days. Come back here in three days, and I will show you the evidence. As a Guji, there's one thing I know very well. People believe whatever they want to believe. Some things you do not see, simply because you do not wish to look. And so, it falls to me to place the truth before your eyes, in all its ugliness. Oh. Hm. Three days? I'll be here. But if I don't see any evidence, I will demand a formal apology for slandering the Kujo clan. Also, she will have to come with me. Wonderful. Then I'll Ooh. see you in three days. I don't want to go with you! I look forward to it very much. That was so scary! Paima wasn't expecting to run into Kujo Sara here. But, Miko... You mentioned evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. Is that all in hand and good to go, or...? Why are you always asking so many questions? Of course not. I just had to say something because I clearly wasn't convincing her. <sighs> not entirely unexpected. As plans go, changing the deity's mind is a huge gamble to begin with. We can't expect to be in control of every last detail when we're facing off against a god, can we? Okay, but what are we gonna do, though? We only have three days! If we want to get our evidence, we're going to need some help. Now, come with me. 
We must awaken the professional. The professional? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, also, Satella, thank you for the super chat. Satella super chatted or, or donated and said, for your venti roll funds. Woo! I want a venti. I want a venti. But I don't know when that's happening. So, I guess we'll see. Okay, who's the professional? Tanuki just turned into a human! Uh-oh! Uh, what's going on? Paimon's never seen one of these before. Mm, not a Tanuki. I'm a Mujina. <sighs> oh, Sayu! <sighs> I'm so tired. If I don't get enough sleep, it'll stunt my growth. Um, oh. Is this the professional you were talking about? <laughs> she doesn't look very professional at all. <laughs> she is a member of the Shiumatsuban, a genuine bona fide ninja. Ninja? Wow, a ninja? She's so sleeping! Is that one of those legendary ninja transformation techniques? Uh, anyway, what's the Shiumatsuban? It belongs to the Yashiro Commission, a secret unit under Kamisato Ayato. Now, Kamisato Ayato and the Yashiro Commission are neutral parties, so I have no right to give orders to the Shiumatsuban. However, convincing their most chronically lazy member to help us is well within my abilities. Uh -huh. Here's what I need you to do. Go into town and find evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. It would not be appropriate for me to be seen there myself. You make it sound so simple, but... I have no idea what I'm looking for. Hmm? Oh, I thought you would have figured it out by now. Yay, yeah, right, Nico! Then. Oh my I'll gosh, you could you give us one piece of straightforward information? For a complete outsider, probing the inner workings of the Tenryo Commission is nigh on impossible. But since the three commissions work together to serve the Shogun, they have a close relationship. Someone from one of the other commissions might have an easier job of figuring out what they're up to. The Yashiro Commission. <laughs> now you're following me. Oh my gosh, you could the have Shogun just told us from the start! Yet. Ah! With the help of this Shiu Matsuban ninja, I'm sure you'll be able to rendezvous with your friends. Don't forget, we're on a tight schedule here. Be sure to bring back the evidence. What do you mean we're on a tight time. schedule? This is the schedule that you made up. Ah! Ah! Yai Miko! You're killing me! Okay. Um, Imperial Officer, thank you for the super chat. Imperial Officer said, so you think. Venti likes to take his Starbucks in the venti size? <laughs> Maybe. I have seen some cute uh, cosplay photos of people like as venti in like a Starbucks outfit. It's pretty cute. No. Yay, Miko. Yay, Miko's like, we're on a pretty tight schedule. Yeah, you're the one that said three days. Like, you set this up. I would like Mama. one thing to just Mama. be straightforward. You there? It's us. We're back. What brings you here? Did you meet with the resistance? How's the battle going? Is it safe for me to come out yet? Not just yet. We saw people patrolling on our way here. So, it's still not over. I guess you came here because you have something to discuss? I'll get someone to call for Miss Kamisato. Bear with me for one second.
I see. You have been through a lot since we last met. I understand. You need evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. Let me think. Now that you mention it, there is one thing that has always concerned me. The Shogun's army has been at war with the Resistance for a long time now, but not once has the Shogun ever inquired about it. I used to think that she simply didn't care, but looking at it now, perhaps the problem all along has been with the Tenryo Commission's reports to the Shogun. Oh! Uh, the Tenryo Commission presides over domestic military affairs. If they ever had any intention of concealing information in their reports, we would have no way of knowing. We would have no Meanwhile, way of knowing. The Shogun would incorrectly conclude that the Vision Hunt decree poses no threat and would stick to her decision. If we had access to their reports, it would confirm everything. But as I recall, the only person authorized to access that kind of official documentation is Kujo Takayuki. It's heavily guarded, too. Even with Sayu's help, swiping a document from under their noses is no easy task. If only there was a way we could distract the guards just for long enough. Hmm. A distraction, you say? Uh, Yoimiya's fireworks! Yoimiya! That's a very toma sounding suggestion. Yoimiya! 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 The statue of the omnipresent god is right by the Tenryo Commission. If someone set off fireworks near the statue, they certainly wouldn't ignore it. While they were preoccupied with that, Sayu could infiltrate the Tenryo Commission and take the report, as well as any other evidence she might find. Great! It feels like I'm getting closer and closer to being a free man again. Okay. <sighs> it feels oh. like it's been an eternity since we last sat down and talked like this. <laughs> it's not been quite that long. Well, it certainly felt like it to me. I've been looking forward to seeing you again every day since I got here. This tea house used to be my favorite hiding place, but now I've honestly lost track of how long it's been since I last set foot outside of here. Oh man, I want to go to the hot spring so badly. Uh, poor Toma. Let's focus on the issue at hand. Okay. The sooner the Vision Hunt Decree is abolished, the sooner Toma will be free. This was a reunion of sorts, but there's no time to catch up. We'll celebrate properly when it's all over. Ooh, let's play the hot pot game again. You're still thinking about that? The Tenryo Commission is heavily guarded. Be careful when you get near. Let's meet back here afterwards. All right. First, let's go to Hanamizaka to find Yoimiya. Yoimiya! Okay, we gotta go get Yoimiya's help! I see her! Yeah, Ayaka gets straight to the point. Unlike someone else we know who is trying to help. Yoimiya! We need an extra large firework. The super duper big kind. Extra large firework? <laughs> you sure came to the right person. As it happens, I made this really souped up one just a couple days ago. But it's so powerful that I haven't found anywhere I can test it out yet. Huh, may as well give it to you. Let me know how it turns out. Don't forget. Move well away from it after you light the fuse, and uh, try to avoid burning your clothes. Also, it's best that you cover your ears. Uh, uh, why does Paimon feel so nervous all of a sudden? No, give it to us! <laughs> Don't worry. It's just Don't be firework. nervous! Come on! What's the worst that could happen? We'll give it a try! Thanks, Yaimiya! Do, 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 do. 
do, 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 do. I will blow up Inazuma in a heartbeat. At this point, everyone's stories has been so sad. And I don't even know what happened to Tepe yet. Ugh. <sighs> What? <gasps> what? The warrant is for your arrest! Freeze! Oh no! Are you for real? <laughs> Nioro Eevee just super chatted! Thank you so much! Oh, that's such a cute idea! I'm just gonna go around this way. Nioro says, uh, here's a thought. The overworked group of Jean, Ganyu, Kuching, and Ayaka, and Kokomi going on a vacation and competing to see who keeps off work the longest. I feel like Ganyu would lose. Maybe go. Ah, ah, ah. to get Oh, I forgot the statue. Okay, 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 okay. Where is it that is that a soldier? talking about. Oh. 
Okay, normally you guys aren't allowed to backseat, but I am asking for your help this time, so you're allowed to help me. Y'all, straight up, who are you talking about? <laughs> That's like one of those things. Oh, it is pretty. That's not him. Uh, oh. Go down to the left guard in the front. In front of this gate. You guys, I am navigating it! You guys, but all if these if I go down there, the soldiers will catch me. And then I have to start over. Oh no! Ah! No! Ah! I did not mean to do that! No! Oh! Oh no. Oh no, oh no. What else do you want from me? I am trying to follow your directions. Okay. Okay. Wait, is that him? Is that him? No! 
Oh, oh. Is it that guy? Is that him? No, that's not him. Oh my gosh! Ah, quickly! Ah, okay, 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 they're gonna catch me! Why do you want to go there? It's only a present. I feel like I should have actually been reading this, but at this point, I just want to get going. Okay, blah, 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 blah. You got to do your thing and I got to deliver things. Okay, bye. Get out of here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, 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 okay. We survived! <laughs> the panic voice acting. <laughs> About Kamaji's treats. Oh, I've already prepared the treats that Master Kamaji ordered. I'll bring them to you now. But I'm curious about who Master Kamaji will give these treats to. It's nothing more- oh, oh, this is- <laughs> It's nothing more than a public relationship- Relations gesture, Miss Kimi- Miss Kini- Kimi Nami. A while back! Miss Hiragi- Sh I don't know how to say it. Shin- Shinsuke presented my father with a batch of fine tea. My father knows that Mr. Hiragi's beloved daughter, Shisato, likes treats. So he told me to prepare some as a gift in return. I was worried that the delivery might take too long and there might also be unavoidable bumps during the journey. So I specifically asked for this traveler to deliver them. Ms. Kiminami, can I have a look at the treats, please? I want to make sure I haven't missed anything. Hmm, sure, here are the treats. Please take a look. Everything is here. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Kiminami. Let us move out of the way, Traveler. I have a few more things to say to you. Now I have to keep going in this voice. <laughs> now I have to keep going. This is the travel permit. Uh, please take it. With this travel permit, you can freely enter and leave Rito. Thank you. It's fine. This permit will make your delivery a lot smoother. Also, here's the letter. Did you write this letter yourself? Yes! I tried to write this letter in a tactful manner. <laughs> I hope Ms. Hiragi won't be offended by it. Please deliver this letter and treats to Ms. Hiragi. Do we have to go back again? <laughs> but this time you have the travel permit! You should have a lot more freedom than before. I'll leave you to it, traveler! I also need to get back and deal with official matters. Ugh, when will I be able to go there myself? Well, we got a discussion. Now we just need to wait for Naisa. Okay. Okay. So now... Oh. Oh, now I'm delivering this to her. Okay, okay, okay. Traveler, you've returned. I feel like that's too close to me. I guess you've delivered my letter to Kamaji. Did you manage to get the travel permit as well? Yes, I have. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. You should be thanking Kamaji instead. Huh? What's this? Treats and a handwritten letter from Kamaji? Ah! Was it his request? These tricolor dango, he prepared them for me! Thank you, Traveler. I'll make sure to savor these treats. As for this letter, I'll read it with great care. Thank you for the hard work. Please accept these items as thanks for your help. Who knows? I might need your help again in the future as well. There we go. Bye. <laughs> okay. Let's leave. <laughs> ah! Cushion. 
Gosh darn it. Where am I going? <laughs> Maybe I should do what I did before and just kind of run across this bridge. Okay. Do you guys like my fast voice acting where I just pick a pick a random voice for the character? Hmm. Okay. Pretty much how I thought. There are loads and loads of people. If one of them spots me, I'll get caught. We need to get rid of them, or I won't be able to sneak inside. We'll just have to trust you, Aenea. After I get the document, let's meet back at Komari Tea House, okay? Okay. Also, if I do get caught, please come rest. Oh, Sayu is so cute! Is this really a good idea? Let's make our way to the statue. Careful does it. Watch out for guards and don't get caught. Um, Lily Pichu did such a good job with Sayu. Why is nothing easy? No! Why is everything in Inazuma difficult? <laughs> oh no. Just do do do. <laughs> No, let go! Let go! Ah! this building really fast. Okay, okay. Climb this building really fast. Oh, no! Okay. Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. Okay! Oh! <laughs> I don't know what to do! Where am I going? I'm supposed to go to the tea house! I'm supposed to go to the tea house? Oh no! Oh! Like, look at it, Diamond's ears are gonna get blown off. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah. Lift me up! Lift me up! Lift me up! They're all coming this way! Quick, run! Why? Why doesn't it work? Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna go to the tea house. I'm just gonna go to the tea house. I don't care. I know there's a better way to do this, but I don't. Oh, I'm caught! Get it! So... Oh! <laughs> How did that work? That should not have worked. That should not have worked. Well, how did it go? <laughs> we... <laughs> we... 
lit the firework and ran away. Well then, <laughs> literally. <laughs> let's wait for news from Sayu. <sighs> I know exercise helps you grow, but this was a little too much exercise. I feel so dizzy. Everyone is spinning. No, I can't sleep yet. There was something important I was supposed to do first. Oh, right, yeah, I got it. I didn't know how to find a document you guys were talking about, so I just oh, swiped a whole bunch of stuff that looks suspicious. Here you go. <sighs> I'm going to sleep now. My lady, what are we looking at? This sealed envelope must be an official report that the Tenryo Commission is preparing to present to the Shogun. In addition, we have... correspondence with the Fatui. It seems that Gujiaya was right. They have been fomenting unrest behind the scenes. This should be ample evidence. Please take them to Gujiaya. I trust she will have a plan for the next step. I will also gather some people to try and root out the rest of the Fatui and Inazuma. Still, mind yourself when you face the Shogun. I still get goosebumps just thinking about her drawing that blade. <sighs> Again, we'll just have to trust Gujiai. She is close to the Shogun, so maybe she will have a way. Uh, if Paimon remembers correctly, it should be time for a meeting with Yaimiko soon. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's go. Let's pick up our things and get ready to head to the Grand Narukami Shrine. Let's do it! <laughs> um, oh, also, I missed it. I missed it, but Archie renewed their membership! <laughs> Lady Guji, here I am, as promised. Rest assured, I came here alone and told no one about this trip. Okay, thank you for not I ruining I knew you everything. would keep your promise after all. I'm sure you've barely been able to take your mind off it these past few days. Have you managed to get any sleep at all? I... I... You're quite mistaken. I would never doubt the leaders uh, yeah, of my Yaimiko is rubbing so, this in! where is your proof? Here. Ah, how wonderful. Everyone's keeping their promises today. Promises. Oh, you you literally go. forced me to do this, Yaimiko. Get our hands on this stuff. Hand them to Sara. She can examine them for herself. What is this? I see this document bears the official seal of the head of the Kujo clan. And it doesn't look like a forgery. I don't understand. <laughs> Not a single yeah, word like, about so the resistance, Sangonomia, or the situation on the front anything. line. You forced me into what about this. the soldiers who gave their lives on the front line? Or the hardship endured by the people? Do they deserve no mention? Utter disregard for human life. Why would they want to hide it? For the sake of the vision hunt decree, of course. Oh my gosh. Don't you think no. the Shogun might reconsider her policy if all of the things you just mentioned appeared in this report? So, the Tenryo Commission, they are deliberately deceiving I the Shogun? Yaimiko's so smug yes. in the back! Now, who else do you think might be benefiting from the Vision Hunt Decree? I also have a confidential letter here. This is a letter from the Tenryo Commission to the Fatui! The head of the Kujo clan kept this a secret from the Shogun, too! <sighs> well... The things you wanted to see, but also wished not to see, are here before you. Surely, you aren't planning to turn a blind eye to them? So everything I've ever held on to, it's all... How could they? Ugh! This betrayal is unforgivable! Takayuki, you've got some explaining to do! Kujo Sara seems pretty angry, huh? Looks like our Tenryo Rebellion is successfully underway! 
The Shogun's army is without a leader for now. Yep, yep! Let's catch up with her! Hold on, Traveler. There's something else we need to oh discuss. Oh my gosh! What else is there, Yaimiko? Last time you entered the Plain of Euthymia, it was in front of the statue of the omnipresent god, correct? Correct. You must find a way to recreate the circumstances of that day. If you can get the Raiden Shogun to open her heart to you once more before the statue of the omnipresent god, you will have the opportunity you need. I will do my best. Take this with you as a farewell gift. What is it? The omamori from the Grand Narukami Shrine are very potent indeed. I thought I'd put one aside for you. Thank you. <laughs> if you find yourself at your wit's end, take it out and see what happens. Maybe your prayers will be answered and all your problems will disappear in the blink of Can an eye. Can you tell? Can or you if tell you me think about one me during time journey, what take this it out, does? Won't you? Who knows? Maybe I'll just end up appearing right in front of you. Why? Why? Why is this another thing that you haven't actually explained to me? <laughs> you just gave me a gift, and I have no idea what it is or how to use it. Oh, Yaimiko! You're killing me! Killing me! Okay. Cut it out, Fox Lady. This isn't the time or place to be poking fun at the Traveler. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well then, time for you to face my hopeless No, you're of a not! Friend. Sorry! I'm you liar! You. Okay. 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 Uh, I don't understand. I can't just walk there! Okay, let's go back around. Christy's watching? Christy Kate, the English voice of Chi Chi is watching right now. Hi, Christy. Oh, I have to. Oh, cause I have to get caught. Oh, cause I have to get caught. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, here we go. Run! Uh, no one's stopping me. <laughs> Who's this? No one's stopping me! You followed me here? You've got guts, I'll give you that. Since you are a witness, I suppose I can shield you from arrest. At least until I have received an explanation from Takayuki. Okay. But if it turns out that you have been deceptive in this matter, then not only will you be arrested immediately, but you'll also be charged with one more crime. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly clear. Hmm. Good. Okay. Oh! Oh, she's running! She's running! Run! <laughs> I hope this is good enough! Apologies, ma'am. Orders from the top. No one is allowed to enter. Out of my way! You need to speak to him! I won't tell you twice! Hey, guys! What's up? Burn! Burn! Formation! Oh, there's some more! Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, quick! Vengeance will be mine! Whoa. Let's dance. Oh, L1 star. How do I? Okay. More then... speed. Hello. It's like butter. Wind blade. Show me what you've got. <laughs> Bye. 
Retribution! Retribution! I must withdraw. Disregard my orders. M Master, I... Go on, ask him. Don't let him intimidate you. Don't let Master him intimidate Takayuki, you. I've seen the report to the throne and the letter to the Fatui. Please, tell me why. Tell us why. So this is how my documents went missing from headquarters. You stole them. Okay, so you... Should I take your words to mean that these documents were not forgeries. They were really penned by your own hand. Please tell me, Master. I need to know. Has the Tenryo Commission really betrayed the Shogunate? Hmm. Yes, I have dealings with the Fatui, and yes, the report you saw was penned by my hand. <laughs> he just came right out and admitted it. The diplomats from Snezhnaya promised a very generous reward indeed. And all they requested of me in return was to see that the Vision Hunt decree is upheld. For too long, the Kujo clan's position has been coveted by so many. There is no shortage of clans who would tear us down at the first opportunity. So, when the chance arose to gain the backing of another powerful nation and crack down on our enemies at the same time, it appeared to me to be an excellent deal. I simply saw no need to inform you, Sara. But... you worship the Shogun. How can you betray her after all this time and act like it's nothing? Betrayal? How can you call this a betrayal? The Fatui may think they are using me, but the reverse is true. What could they possibly hope to achieve? When the lightning strikes in Inazuma, they shall fall to their knees and tremble, paralyzed by fear and trepidation. After all, none can contend with the supreme power of the almighty Raiden Shogun and the Muso no Hitotachi. So his intention wasn't to betray the Raiden Shogun? Yeah! She doesn't worship the Raiden Shogun herself, but her power as a warrior, especially the Muso no Hitotachi. In fact, he seems to be way too into it. Seems way too into but it. But Master, what about loyalty? I Ever since I was adopted by the Kujo clan, you taught me the importance of loyalty from servants to their superiors. But it's clear to me now that you wanted my loyalties to stop with the Kujo clan. So you were scared that I would betray you one day? You hypocrite! Preaching about virtue just to mask your own wretched selfishness! Selfishness? I am but safeguarding the eternity of the Kujo clan. I'm quite sure the almighty Shogun would be sympathetic to that. As would the former head of our clan. Uh, hate to say it. But his ego is getting in the way. If he thinks the Kujo clan is a match for the Fatui, Paimon thinks he's in for a nasty surprise. There is no point trying to argue with him. I've doubted the Vision Hunt decree in the past. I asked myself, is this truly the correct thing to do? Even though it goes against what I know in my heart to be right. But I chose to obey the Shogun. For as long as she leads the way, who among us is qualified to judge between right and wrong when we have not yet reached the end of the path? But now I realize that the path of eternity is one without end, while this path, it has long since been defiled by your selfish ways. So I'm going to tell the Shogun the truth about all this. If nothing else, my conscience will be clear. <laughs> 
stubborn and futile. Report to the Shogun if you so wish. The Kujo clan's position is now unshakable, and nothing you can do will change this. The Shogun is at Tenshukaku receiving a Shnezhnayan diplomat. A harbinger by the name of Signora. Signora? Signora's the one behind all this? Ugh, not her again! Signora sucks. Way back in Rito, <laughs> we Lady you. Hiragi said something about the <laughs> we kind of commission of meeting with an arrogant-sounding woman. <sighs> We should have known. We should have known. Snezhnaya. Well, if she thinks she's leaving Inazuma in one piece, she's got another thing coming. She's got another thing coming. Sorry, Storm Dog. Do you think she's gonna go barge into Tenchukaku right now? Either way, we have a score to settle with Signora. You can say that again. All right then, let's do this. We're not going to finish today. Just so everybody knows. Well, maybe. I'm kind of confused. <sighs> oh no, this guy is knocked down! Okay, where am I going? Oh. Oh my gosh. It's a long way up there. One and a half more hours? <laughs> One and a half more hours? Okay, Christy says... Christy says to tell you guys... Christy says, tell the chat that I say, now you shall perish. What's going on? Oh my gosh, all these guys. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll just fight Signora and then I'll save the Raiden Shogun fight for next time. Oh. Like, is the fight right now? If I... Okay, mods. What do I do? Should I... Should I fight Senora and then... Ugh. Fight Senora and then... And then end the stream and we'll do the rest yeah. next time? Okay, okay. Okay. Brandon says yes and we listen to Brandon. Also, also, Brandon, thank you for becoming a member for seven months! I saw it and then I, I got... Confused. I got lost in the story. Okay, okay, start. Okay. <laughs> The way people charge in here as they please, so uncivilized. If I didn't know this was Tenshukaku, I might have mistaken it for some kind of street market. Have you learned your lesson now? Oh no! What is she <gasps> Sara? The right to punish Inazumans for their crimes is mine alone. Not yours, Signora. Then I apologize, almighty Shogun. Wait! Archie, I thought I did say thank you. To you. Archie, thank you for becoming a member! I thought I did say thank you, but I forgot. Okay, uh, let's go. Senora! I know, I know. You can't get me out of your mind. But you really don't need to call my name all the time. Don't go thinking I'm surprised to see you here. I'm well aware that you hate me, with the way you follow me around like a dark shadow. You're trying to seize control of Inazuma. Ah, 
So you came to expose my crimes in front of the Shogun? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm just a Snezhnayan diplomat. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. She doesn't take us seriously at all. For all those who have lost their visions. Stop talking about people and things that I care nothing about. They were nobodies to begin with, and their names will be forgotten. But now, at least, they get to be building blocks in the grand revolution to realize eternity. Is that not the greatest honor they could hope for in their tiny little lives? Almighty Shogun, do correct me if I'm wrong. Hmm. And for the people of Liyue you imperiled. That's ancient history. You certainly love to hold a grudge. The Tsaritsa's dream is the noblest and purest thing in all the world. I don't These so. other mundane details you insist on mentioning? They're just necessary sacrifices. That's all. It's time for me to put a stop to this. You? Stop me? <laughs> Literally, I'm gonna fight you! I'm gonna fight you! For what it's worth, I've grown tired of seeing you around as well. But I didn't have you down as someone quite so foolhardy. Before you go saying something you can't take back, remember that you're Inazuma's most wanted criminal. I suggest you consider your circumstances very carefully. Charging into Tenshukaku uninvited and lecturing me in front of the Shogun wasn't the brightest move. Don't you think it's time you stopped digging? I'm not sure you realize quite how much distance there is between us, both in status and in strength. I challenge you to a duel before the throne. <sighs> Proceed. My, you're full of surprises today. Yeah! So I you've challenge you. So to make the law of the land work for you, too. Hmm. I'll admit that I never expected to be in a situation where the two of us were on equal footing. You are aware that the loser must die. Are you sure this is what you want? Traveler! <laughs> then I will deign to share this last dance with you. I am death nervous do us that part. I will actually not win. A lesson on harbinger power and elegance? <laughs> What's happening? As you wish. What's happening? Why can't I? Oh. Prepare to be blown away. Come on, we can do it. Verdict is. Oh no! How do I? How do I? Oh ah oh. Wing blade. My destiny anew. Await my emergence and tremble, traveler. You have reason no! to be ah! afraid. Whoa! I need these lotuses. No! Ah! Oh! Oh! I need these. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Go. 
working? The Tsaritsa's benevolence has no place for transport. Oh, okay. Well, you're gone. Okay, I just gotta wait for the icy part to go away. The pale flame smolders. Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 now she's on fire. <laughs> In fires of sin and retribution, your soul will be incinerated! Freeze her! Please! Please, Eula! Freeze her! I can get you. Ah! Oh no! Okay, embrace your searing reckoning Freeze. to the core! Okay, Back in okay. ruin! You know what happens if you lay a finger on me. I swear. I if you strike me, I will make sure. The Fatui will make sure that your precious Inazuma. Stop! I order you! And you! Filthy rats! All of you! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
You are the enemy of eternity. <laughs> but as the victor, I acknowledge your honor. Therefore, I shall allow you to leave Tenshukaku alive. There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. We meet again. Okay, 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 okay. I can't even heal. 
I can't even heal. Indulge my curiosity. What is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? Do you hope your foolhardiness will shelter those people? Or was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me? The Fatui have deceived the Raiden Shogun. Oh? <laughs> Surely you didn't rouse me from my state of eternal meditation only to tell me this. <laughs> if so, then you underestimate me. I am quite well informed about the Vision Hunt Decree. You know everything that's going on outside? Not so. Only everything that pertains to eternity. The Vision Hunt Decree has my tacit approval. The Fatui's actions thus far do not constitute a threat to eternity. Otherwise, they would have been purged long ago. It comes at a great cost to the people of Inazuma. Individual ambition is inherently incompatible with eternity. What you might not realize is that all too often, people have far more to lose by chasing their dreams. Consider this. No one will lose their life on account of having their vision taken away. Rather, those who have lost their lives are the ones who insisted on pursuing their own aspirations, are they not? Tape. Traveler, your existence is unique in my eyes. There seems to be limitless uncertainty in you. To put it another way, you are the furthest thing from eternity. So, I won't insist that you comprehend the meaning of my actions. What matters is that I tread the path of eternity on my people's behalf. This is your plane of Euthymia. It is created by your consciousness, yes? That's right. Huh. I'm surprised you understand it so well. Anyway, you're looking for a chance to shake my will, aren't you? I'm not here to debate your ideas. I'm here to demolish them. Hmm. So be it. Well then, you who would defy eternity, time for you to enlighten me. Your oh, everyone's healed! Everyone's healed! Okay. Static. More speed. Touche. Oh, unhelpful. Oh. Vengeance will be mine. I condemn you. Time for retribution. Oh. Not good, not good. Nothing is good. Everything is bad. Okay. No, no everything is bad. No, 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 no. Everything is bad. Everything is bad! From the land of eternity. Okay, okay, okay. This thing, this thing, this thing. Ruined. Go, 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 go! No! Yeah. That does nothing! Ready, steady, go! The vision is futile. Let's... Okay, run! Barbara, run! Strike dead! I don't want to do this, though, is the thing. <laughs> How am I supposed to, like, fight her if I have to keep dodging? Oh my gosh! How am I supposed to fight her if I have to keep dodging her? Ah! I will mold you into the foundations of eternity. Inferior. Inferior. Oh my gosh, I am not going to win this fight. I am not going to win this fight. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? <laughs> Dead. 
can't stop now if you need me. Great, great. Go, Thank Barbara, you. go! <sighs> Inferior. Go, Strike Barbara, dead. go! You are Too far. Ah! That special attention. Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. I hate everything about this! How am I supposed to... Ah! I will mold you into the foundations of eternity. Inferior. Strike dead. Eye for an eye. <laughs> Instabilities will be removed. you cutting it rather close? <gasps> yeah, hmm? Miko! For once, I'm so Miko. glad you're here! This was your doing? <laughs> now, now. Don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? Though you alone are here, they too have ambitions. Which they long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. Abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. Burn. You 
worked! <sighs> yes, I have. Why can you not trust your people and in the power of their ambitions? Yay! These ambitions have transcended <laughs> space and time. They are something that no one can snuff out. When people move forward with all their might, they can surpass the gods' expectations. Is this the lesson you learned from your journey in Liyue? Yes. There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? You and I have both witnessed the great loss that progress can bring. Eternity. Eternity is the only way. When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. My name means shadow. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. And yet, something was lost with each step forward. In the end, I even lost her. The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Aww. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. But I've seen a nation strike forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Perhaps only if time stands still, will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream. For a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. The heavenly principles. Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm concerned. When all's said and done, all you really want is to protect your beloved Inazuma forever and ever. Isn't that right? <laughs> that would be something of an oversimplification. But is this nation worth existing for eternity? Stripped of ambitions, stripped of the potential for change. It does nothing more than simply... exist. It is a hollow shell of a nation. Hmm. I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone if such a nation were destroyed? Miko, retract your words. Never changing eternity is the promise I made to my people. But what your people need from you is not your promises. They want your attention. Okay, your yeah, Miko's divine correct gaze. In, this, in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> you mean visions? Humans have a lifespan of barely a hundred years. They cannot afford to bear any extra losses. But I have experienced it all. That is why I have chosen to guide them along the correct path toward eternity. Oh. <sighs> But eternity is far too cruel a fate for you, eh? <laughs> for me? Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but you have stopped paying attention to yourself. It must have been terribly lonely here, all alone, for centuries on end. But it is necessary. You will miss much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss. But have you considered all you are losing by remaining here in stasis for all eternity? You are obviously lonely. And yet, for the sake of eternity, you choose to stretch your loneliness out to infinity. Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? Why now? This is your plane of euthymia. 
It's your inner world. So it can only mean that you are happy to see me again. You have found the loneliness here unbearable for a long time now, haven't you? I... have nothing to say to that. <laughs> but I have so much to say to you. Let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries. <laughs> How long will that take? As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries with perfect clarity. So it will probably take me another few centuries to relay it to you. <laughs> Miko, I never thought I would have the chance to meet with you like this again. <sighs> Seeing you again is a change to eternity. And a very nice surprise. Aw, thanks. <laughs> Since you are willing to admit that, I suppose that means we can still be friends? <laughs> what a childish conversation this is. Anyway... Now that I have been defeated by you and your plan, I will honor your wish to abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. But, with regards to eternity, and the question of whether this nation should move forward, I need time to give it some thought. <laughs> you are the one who's been acting like a child from the very beginning. As promised, the Raiden Shogun abolished the Vision Hunt Decree. Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plane of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. I, I Some get ambitions <laughs> have the power to heal wounds, to bring victory, to inspire hope. But some ambitions outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning. Burning bright and true. For all eternity. to Yaimiko. Oh, gotcha. Paima was super worried, you know. So, maybe the reason Yaimiko is looking for us now is because she wants to thank us. Let's go find her. Yay! So, let me try um, oh my gosh. I do, I, I had some super chats that I missed, um, and I'm going to try and read them. Uh, the Nitro Melon said, Can't believe Sarah beat the Raiden Shogun on my birthday. Was it fate or was it just her ambition? We'll never know. Happy birthday, Nitro Melon! Uh, more of his super chatted and said, Wow, you really did that in one try. Yeah, heck yeah! Uh, and then Kramer super chatted and said, First try on both Senora and Raiden round two. Really goes to show how far you've come. Thank you! And Suyechi just became a member for two months! Yay! Thank you, thank you! They said, you did it! All the hard work on building your characters paid off. Congrats. Yay! Yeah, I could not have done this if Christy and Core and uh, Karina and um, Corey and Eddie had <laughs> not helped me level up my characters. That's... Christy Kate, English voice of Chi Chi, Karina Becker, English voice of Paima, Corey, English voice of Goro! And Eddie is is not in Genshin, but we love Eddie so much. <laughs> the best. 
All right, let's go talk to Yamiko. Why, hello, if it isn't the triumphant traveler. And why might you be visiting the shrine? A sign of piety, perhaps. You literally told us to come meet you here! <laughs> I was just joking. I've been waiting for you. Seems like someone's in a pretty good mood. Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. Catching up with an old friend I hadn't seen in years was truly delightful. Yay! By the way, I heard that you had a duel before the throne. With a Fatui Harbinger, no less. Courageous and astute. I must say, I am most impressed. I don't know what came over me. Defeating Signora head-on in a duel means that your strength exceeds my expectations. Still, you did end up victorious. I gather congratulations are in order. <sighs> sure feels good to finally thwart the Fatui plan for once. They caused plenty of trouble along the way, but at the very least, they didn't get their hands on another Gnosis. Wait a second. Did you say Gnosis? As in, the little thing that looks something like a chess piece. Yep, that's the one. You see one too? Gnosis belong to the Seven. They're what keep them connected to Celestia. Oh. W what's wrong? Oh no, what now? I handed that over. You did what now? Well, how else was I supposed to save your skin from the balladeer exactly? The Gnosis is long gone then. The balladeer is number six of the Fatui Harbingers. In terms of strength, he is superior to Signora. I'm not the kind of person who risks life and limb for any old reason. Why was the Gnosis in your hands? After A created her puppet vessel, she no longer had anywhere to put it. As her erstwhile closest friend, A handed it over to me. And I've kept it in the Grand Narukami Shrine Not ever since. Go! She Why? no longer needs the power of the Gnosis, and in any case, she tells me she has severed ties with Celestia. Thus the Gnosis became not only useless, but also a potential source of conflict. Is that not a good bargain, exchanging it for the one at the core of the plan? Judging by the results, at least, I dare say I struck a good deal. <laughs> <sighs> when you put it like that, Paimon has to agree. The Traveler is worth more than a Gnosis. No wonder we haven't seen the Balladeer since. <sighs> well, what's done is done. And Paimon heartily thinks we'll be getting it back now. Let's leave the past in the past. Um, so, anyway, you still haven't told us why you called us here today. <laughs> it's to thank you. Really? You intend to travel all over to Vat, and the time has come for the Inazuma leg of your trip to come to an end, has it not? As a mark of my gratitude, I will answer any questions you may have about the road ahead, or the events of the past. <gasps> what Yay! would you like to know about? About the Shogun puppet. That puppet was built with technology that has been lost to time. Perhaps she, as a god, is the only one privy to the knowledge of its origins. Still... There is one other thing on this topic that I suspect you may be curious to know. Before A began modifying her own godly form, she took it upon herself to create a prototype puppet. So, you mean there are three riding shogans? No. The prototype was merely a proof of concept. Its appearance and intellect were not based on A. It was a test. The original plan was for A to simply discard it, but perhaps A thought this to be too cruel, because in the end, she chose only to seal the power within it. Later, this puppet wandered Inazuma as an ordinary human male with his own consciousness. Until... the Fatui took an interest in him. Ugh! Not the Fatui! Ooh. Some eccentric geniuses in the ranks of the Fatui made adjustments to the prototype, 
not only unsealing his power, but very likely rendering him even more formidable than his original specifications. Surely you don't mean... Mm-hmm. The object of divine creation is now the one who has taken possession of the Gnosis. <gasps> no! And the prototype puppet is now known as the Balladeer. No way! What a crazy Wait, story! Wait, so Scaramouche isn't even, it is, like, isn't real? It? Isn't, like, Who alive? Who can say whether it's coincidence Whoa! or destiny? About the former Raiden Shogun. I'm surprised an outlander like you is aware that there was once a change of Electro Archon. Few citizens of Inazuma are aware of this. Morax told us. He said that the Electro Archon Ball has passed away. Yes. The truth of the matter is that there were two twin gods, Baal and Beelzebul. Twin gods? They won the Archon War together, and when Baal established the Shogunate, Beelzebul became her Kagemusha, or Shadow Warrior. In other words, she acted as Baal's body double. Beelzebul is A, with whom we are now both acquainted. Baal's name was Makoto. As far as the world was aware, there were not two, but one. They complemented each other, and they ruled Inazuma jointly, so there was no need for the public to know the truth. In fact, the name Ball and the title of Raiden Shogun was understood to refer to both of them. Right up until... Until what? Makoto died several hundred years ago in a war that I was not personally involved in. Since then, A has assumed the Shogunate. Losing her sister must have been super hard on A. Conria. That was when A began to change. Oh. Makoto was her greatest loss. Oh, so that was who was in the in the cutscene. Was her sister. Feels like she understands A a lot better now oh. after finding that out. So what kind of? And that's why the image Makoto? with the boxes, because that was Conria. I didn't oh, I spend know. a great deal of time with her, but my impression was she was a gentle god. Who in each moment cherished the beauty of what was before her. Wow. About my brother. Sorry, I haven't a clue. I'm also unfamiliar with the god you describe. What god? But if you still have doubts about A, I would say they are misplaced. Not only does she not fit your description, but she voluntarily oh, gave up god. her gnosis long ago, severing her ties with Celestia in the process. Having met her, I don't believe she was the one. That's good to hear. Otherwise, given that I'm her familiar, it could have made our relationship rather awkward, don't you think? Don't worry. We aren't looking to pick a fight with you. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. May you soon discover the truth behind it all. As for your brother's whereabouts, I will use all the resources at my disposal to investigate it, and I will also borrow some of Ayato's people from the Shiumatsuban. I'll let you know if I find out anything. Consider it part of my means of thanking you. About the next stop on my journey... After leaving Inazuma, hmm... I think it would be easiest for you to go to Sumeru. Ooh, Sumeru! We've run into lots of scholars from there on our journey so far. Yes, well... Sumeru is the land of the God of Wisdom, where the quest for wisdom and knowledge is never-ending. But their obsession gives rise to some truly inexplicable things. For example, in Sumeru, knowledge is holistically managed as a resource. Knowledge is a resource? Yes. I don't know whether it was the sages or Lesser Lord Kusanali who came up with the idea. Lesser Lord Kusanali? That's a cute name! Oh, you haven't heard? Lesser Lord Kusanali is the deity in whom the people of Sumeru place their faith. It's their chosen term of endearment for her. I'm sure you must have some things to discuss with her, too. I wish you all the best. I have no more questions. Are you sure? Okay, then. Oh, Traveler. Do you still have the Omamori I gave you? Of course. I'll keep it in a safe place. Keep it safe? Is that all you intend to do with it? There was me thinking that you might hang it around your neck to show off to the world, telling everyone who inquired that it was given to you by none other than Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. Tell 
in their right mind would do that. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Now, a question for you. Traveler, what is your ambition? To be reunited with my brother, I guess. I see. But that is merely a small goal, based on what preoccupies you here and now. Your ambition should be something that transcends the world below and the starry sky above. Something that shines in unison with fate itself. Perhaps the reason you do not possess a vision is that such an ambition has yet to be engendered within you. It's a possibility. Continue on your journey, and maybe that moment will come to pass. Oh my gosh, you guys! We did it! Ah! We did it, we did it, we did it! I can't believe I finished the Inazuma story quest! Oh my gosh, this is wild! I can't believe it! Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out on this stream. I know it was rather long. Uh, I do want to say thank you to my mods. Uh, Archie, Brandon, Xander, Diamond, Raya, y'all are the best. Um, make sure to, uh, hang out this weekend, this Saturday, is the Voice Actor Among Us stream. Oh, I should take a picture with the eye. That's your, I'm gonna do that. That's what I'm gonna do before I go. Uh, and make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell. Please, please, please. I'm so excited! Uh, I'm assuming that March 30th is when a new event drops. Is that what you guys are saying? When the new banner comes out? Um, because otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. Now that we've, now that we've, like, gotten up to date, I don't know what else we'll do. But, oh, I have to do the Asia Hawk quest. I have some quests I have to do, so we'll figure out what else we're gonna do in the next couple weeks. Uh, but I do want to say thank you guys so much for hanging out, and thank you for believing in me. I didn't believe in me. I didn't know that I would be able to finish it, but I'm excited. Um, yay. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, Christy just reminded me I have to do the Spiral Abyss. We're gonna do a stream. Christy suggested we just call it Sarah Suffers Through Spiral Abyss. <laughs> Christy's gonna be there to laugh at me. Um, so yay! Oh my gosh. You guys, you are so wonderful. We're gonna take a picture before we end the stream. <laughs> I want, I'm gonna wait till she does her like thing. I like to do the picture with the, the, the thing like this. Um, but yes, everyone join the Discord and follow me on Twitter for updates on what I'm going to be doing next for my next streams. Um, but once I take this picture, we will be ending this stream. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. I just want Lumine to do her little like constellation thing and then I'm gonna take the picture. Um, the constellation pose. Exactly. Come on. Come on. You can do it, Lumine. I believe in you. It's going to take forever. Um, <laughs> ah, here we go. Here we go. Yay. Okay. Perfect. 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 All right, you guys. Uh, I will see you hopefully on Saturday. And thank you so much for hanging out, everybody. Yay. All right, have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are. And um, I guess comment on this video, uh, not in the chat right now, but once it's posted, comment what you wanna see next. Maybe Spiral Abyss, maybe the Asia House story quest. Comment and give me an idea of what you wanna see. All right, <laughs> I, I clicked that too quickly. <laughs> She's struggling. Okay, good night.